What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Colin here. And for this week's daily news update. Alright, guys. Uh, so far, things have been going crazy. Um, I've been definitely uh, uploading a lot of uh, footage for you guys between Mirror's Edge Catalyst and Homefront the Revolution. Now, let's see. I beat Mirror's Edge like a couple days ago. I put the ending of it up, when was it, yes, yesterday I put it up, we're still playing Homefront the Revolution, um, the game is a tremendous pain in the ass, I'm just going to get it out there, it is, it is a tremendous pain in the ass, I'm not 100% thrilled with it, I, it has its times where you enjoy it, and then it's got other times where you just hate it, and you want to freaking strangle the game, Trust me, I've had moments where I've gotten very irritated because of uh, how easy it is for you to die. It's like two or three gunshots and you're dead and you have to restart the whole thing over and over and over and over some more. Oh wait, no wait, and over some more. Okay, so... That's my piece on that. I just had to get that off my chest for a minute. That game's been driving me nuts, but I will beat the game. I know for a fact that I am very close to the ending of it. And then, also today, we're going to hop into a newer game uh, called Assumption. It's uh, supposed to be a horror, psych psychological horror type game. Got it uh, this afternoon, so we're going to jump into that. And then next week, uh, we'll be jumping into the Technomancer, which I can't wait to play that. That looks like it's going to be pretty awesome. All right, guys. So, first thing that I want to hop into here. I'm sure you guys have heard uh, by now, obviously, about the uh, game called, I think it's called Neo. Or it might be Nio, but it looks like Neo. Okay, the first thing we're going to hop into here. First thing I want to read is the uh, Neo Dev. Okay, when developer Team Ninja released a demo for Neo in May, it also promised a future DLC pack to anyone who could beat that small chunk of the final game. This sent a message Neo may be difficult, but it's rewarding. And now. Following ample user feedback from that demo, which Team Ninja titled the Alpha Demo, the developer is adamant about one thing. It's not going to make Neo easier. It wouldn't add anything to the gameplay to make enemies weaker or the player stronger, creative director, uh, director Tom Lee told GameSpot during a recent demo at E3 2016. Any changes would be to enhance the difficulty. Some people said the difficulty was too high, but the vast majority had positive feedback. We are introducing abilities that will give the player more options, though. We want learning them to feel rewarding. Among these new abilities and items are firearms, uh, early uh, incarnations of uh, muskets that fit the game's uh, Japanese setting as well as the Aux, a new guardian spirit you can summon. Neo's structure and combat are clearly inspired by Dark Souls. And as in the case in that franchise, Neo will often only be difficult if you aren't patient and calculated. The new weapons are supernatural beasts are in place to create various avenues to tailor your uh, playstyle. Team Ninja is also taking pains to improve Neo's camera, which is a crucial factor in a game that relies on well-timed combat. Even Dark Souls 3, a, gate game, a great game in its own right, could avoid camera issues 100% of the time. A bad camera actually makes the game unfairly said, and that's not what we're going for, so we made sure it took extra time to get rid of camera issues. We won't be losing track of our mobile enemies anymore. The game system, game's system won't add to the difficulty in necessary ways. The demo Lee showed took place immediately following the chapter shown in the alpha demo. Art director Fumohiko Yasuda descended into ancient catacombs in the 
Nakatusu region of Japan, fighting through numerous enemies before reaching the area's boss, Hino Enma, an airborne vampire. Uh, with a variety of abilities heightened, highlighted the need for patience in Neo's punishing world. By depleting her Kai, Ki, Yoshida dropped her to the ground in a stunned fetal position, but while she may have been vulnerable during too much damage, triggered a vicious counterattack that drained a large portion of Yoshida's health. It doesn't specify how much damage will trigger that, Yoshida said. It's something you'll learn as you go, and that's a huge part of Neo. The studio is adamant that it uh, doesn't want to hold players' hands, Lee said. However, the team did decide to an optional tutorial mission to the game's final release. This sets it apart from the aforementioned uh, Dark Souls, which notoriously obfuscates most of its systems. Some of our uh, mechanics felt they needed to be to be explained, Lee said. We want you to be aware of what's at your disposal. We want you to know there are options to help you when things might seem too difficult, as uh, Lee told it. The popularity of Dark Souls in recent years created a community Team Ninja wanted to uh, cater to, but while Neo may have clear inspirations from the structure of that series, it's still attempting to tap into a community of its own. It has a new uh, demo planned for August, and if all goes according to plan, players will find the same brutal uh, layered difficulty they encountered during the last demo. Okay, that is the uh, first thing I wanted to go over with you guys. Now, you know, I'm sure there are, well not I'm sure, I know for a fact there are a lot of people out there that love the Dark Souls franchise. And I get it, I see the draw it. Uh, you know, they love the... Uh, difficulty of it, you know, how hard it is. But I am not one of those people. I don't live for games that give me really hard challenges where they, you know, you can only get hit a couple times and then you're dead and you got to restart all over. I don't like playing games like that. I'm the type of person, I just like to have fun when I play my games. I'm simple. I'm not looking for challenges. I'm not looking to gather as many trophies as I can possibly get. That's just not that's just not who I am. I just like to play and have fun, crack some jokes, and hopefully people like the videos. That's that's really what it is for me. So the Dark Souls games, the Neo game, which I'm sure will turn into a franchise and there'll be a two, three, and who knows. I will not play those games because I will get frustrated way too fast. I will not enjoy it because I will just die way too much, and that's that's just not enjoyable to me. So I hate to say it, but again, you know, I completely understand the draw to it. it they're aiming for a certain crowd of people that love they live for those kind of games. So I get it, but I also do you know. They do really good jobs, because I do watch playthroughs of them, but I just don't want to be the one that's doing the playthrough. So, <laughs> uh, the next thing, that uh, guys, that we are uh, going to jump into is the uh, new South Park game lets you play as a girl, and the game reacts to you differently. Now, one moment here. Bavavar. Whoa, hold on guys. One second. Sorry, my computer's acting up. Hold on. I don't know what the hell's going on. Hold on.
my laptop just basically started to spaz out on me. Okay, guys, I'm really sorry. Um, hold on. I apologize. I had everything set to go, and then when I went into the new page to uh, go over this with you guys, my laptop just went crazy. That was really weird. Again, I, I sorry, guys. I'm trying to get this set up, but my computer's lagging like a mother. Okay, hold on. There we go. Thing. Nope, maybe not. Oh my god, guys, I am so freaking sorry. Um, I cannot get this page to work. Okay, I think I got it. Jesus. The video that was playing in the background on this page I'm on messed the whole thing up. Normally my laptop does not do that. Alright, sorry guys. Anyways, 2014 South Park, The Stick of Truth, did not let you play as a girl, but the sequel, The Fractured Butthole, will include this option. Now, South Park co-creator Matt Stone has shared some new de details on why the feed was missing for the first game and what it means for the follow-up. In Stick of Truth, we got halfway through the game and we had narratively come up with Big Girl's quest halfway through it. The girls were a faction in the fantasy world, he told Entertainment Weekly, and then someone's like, what, if you want to be a girl, narratively, it didn't work. We'd have to shit-can the whole game, so we just left it the way it was. This time, we obviously wanted to add that for the Fractured Butthole. Introducing the ability to play as a girl came with a number of complexities not present in the first game. The boys are little boys because it's a really because it's really a story about little boys running around, Stone said, so they don't care about your character being a girl. That seems weird. They always seem to care about it in the show. Are they dumb about it? Or they don't know. So you're in hiding? Or do they totally care about that? And totally treat you differently? So we ended up doing these things differently for different characters. As he's alluding to, this led to quite a bit more work, Stone said. He referenced how in another Ubisoft game, the Division characters treat you basically the same if you play as a man or woman. But you can expect a tolerated experience depending on your gender choice for the fractured butthole. I'm also playing the Division. I'm not just saying that because it's Ubisoft. I made the character look like my wife just because I thought that was funny. Running around New York shooting people looking like my wife, Stone said. But the game doesn't treat you treat you that differently. The guys still shoot you. That's cool for that kind of game. It's been a funny journey to go through introducing something that we thought would just be a cool feature for the fractured butthole. Okay, uh, you're a girl, but now they're going to treat you different. Stone went on to say that he tends to play as a female character in other games when the option is available. He thinks it will be a popular for the Fractured Butthole too. We figured everyone's going to pick it, he said. You can read the full Entertainment Weekly interview All right here. The Fractured Butthole launches on December 6th for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Unlike the first game, which was made by Fallout, New Vegas developer Obsidian Entertainment. The sequel is being made internally by Ubisoft San Francisco.
And we learned at E3 last week that the fractured butthole will allow players to control their sphincter while pooping with total ass control. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> Okay, and the last thing I want to go over is, granted, as my computer won't screw up. Can't believe it did that. That was so annoying. Just, like, took a crap on me. I like, can't work. Alright. The next thing I did want to go over with you guys... ...is the uh, Horizon Zero Dawn developer talks delay and why it chose a female hero. One second. One second. I need my cup of joe. Ah. <laughs> okay. I have no idea why my computer's running like crap today. Because usually when I do this stuff, you know, I got the thing set up in the background, to, you know, go through with you guys. And I usually don't have a problem, but today I'm having problems. I'm not really entirely sure why. I don't know if it's because uh, it keeps on trying to play these videos that are on the page. And with me recording my own video, it's messing everything up. I'm not really sure what the heck it's doing. Uh, so what do you guys think of uh, Horizon Zero Dawn? I think it looks freaking awesome. I mean, robot dinosaurs. Come on, guys. I mean, that's just... Badass. I can't wait to get my hands on this game. Really cool idea to come up with the uh, whole uh, robot dinosaur thing. I, th I think that's brilliant. I really do. Hell, I wish I could be one of the people working on it. Or at least get to go into the studio and see some of the stuff they're doing, because that'd be awesome, too. Alright, guys, again, I'm, I apologize. My computer's messing up, and uh, it's, it's freezing, and then when it's not freezing, it's lagging. I don't know why it's doing this, to be honest. I usually don't have these problems. Now, if I was rendering one of my uh, videos in the background, yes, it makes my uh, laptop do this sometimes. But I'm not rendering any videos. I just upload a, a video on YouTube for you guys to watch. I have no clue why the hell it's doing this. Well, sorry that it's messing up the video, guys. Alright, well. Uh, let's see here. One of the standout titles of E3 2016 last week was Horizon Zero Dawn. It's a hugely different game than developer's well-known Killzone first-person shooter franchise, and based on a demo we played at E3, it's one to watch. GameSpot caught up with the director, Mathis D. Jongi, to discuss the game's recently announced delay to 2017 and why it chose a female protagonist. Regarding the delay, Zero Dawn was obviously expected to launch in 2016, 
D. Jong said Guerrilla Games is spending that extra month of development polishing things like Quest and the robot dinosaur machine creatures. It's all polished, he said. We have this open world. It's very big. We have a lot of quests. We have a lot of different regions as well. We have a lot of different machines. Play testing this. It's very, very time consuming. We have so many components. We just want to raise the quality on the different areas. Again, I'm. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. I'm sorry, guys. I keep on apologizing. But my freaking laptop froze again, and it won't. It won't bring the page thing down, so I can keep on going. Wait, hold on. There we go. I got a little bit. Uh, the director specifically mentioned some story and dialogue sequences, as well as facial animations, and areas that Gorilla is looking to further improve before launch. He added that Zero Dawn is currently in a pre-alpha state, which gives the developer enough time to raise the quality. The delay was mainly because it's such a big game. We are a team of 200 people now, but there's just a lot of content we need to look at and evaluate and keep improving. Okay, Zero Dawn was announced at E3 2015, at which time it was also confirmed that the main character would be a woman named Alloy. Dijungo told GameSpot that one of Gorilla's goals from the start was to make Zero Dawn a game that, was, that stood out from what the studio had made before and what the industry had seen. Uh, when we started with the concept, we felt like we had a pretty fresh mix of ingredients, the BBC nature documentary kind of feel, and then the sci-fi elements with the robots. He explained, we also felt like we need a fresh main character. We've been making Killzone games. We've done male protagonists for quite a while. Now we want to do something else. We're switching from first-person shooter to open-world action RPG. Everything is shifting, so this was another thing we wanted to try, and we felt like a female character like Alloy would fit really well. Looking beyond Alloy's gender, Jijungo said it was important to make Alloy an interesting character that fits within the Zero Dawn universe and draws players in with her inquisitiveness. All right, any day now. <laughs> well, guys, next video I'm going to hope is not doing this. This is actually the first time I've had problems when it came to this. Usually it's not bad, but for some reason today it's bad. I have no idea. Okay, there we go. What we have been focusing on is not... Oh, no. It skipped down a little bit too far. My apologies. Now it's got to go back up. <laughs> oh, man. This is so stupid. Okay, there we go. We've been focusing on is not if it's male or female, but it's more to figure out her personality, explain, make her personality really interesting. And also the way she looks. Make that feel she's really a tribal hunter that fits in the world and surroundings. She's very curious and determined. And she wants to explore the world and figure out these mysteries, he added. And hopefully, we can give the player the same feeling. You want to know what's out there. You want to discover these new machines. You want to meet the new tribe. That's how we've mostly designed her character. Last summer, PlayStation Worldwide Studios president... Sh 
Yoshi Yoshida said Sony thought it might be risky to have Zero Dawn's lead character be a woman. There was so much discussion inside of Sony about Zero Dawn having a female lead that the company hired a marketing team to conduct focus testing for the character. Following the delay, Zero Dawn is now scheduled to come out on February 28th, 2017th for PS4. Alright guys, that is a wrap on the update for, uh, news for this week for you guys. Again, sorry about my laptop being uh, stupid and laggy. I don't, I don't know what the heck its problem was today. But whatever, nonetheless. Uh, tune in next week for uh, some more news for you guys. Um, I do not know what next week... I never know what my weekly news updates are going to be for you. Ooh, pardon me. I uh, f usually find out the day of that I do it. Uh, but uh, tune in for more um, Homefront the Revolution. And I uh, hope you guys check out uh, Assumption. Check that out. Horror survival type psychological thriller type thing. And then next week will also hopefully be, uh, should be a Technomancer. All right, guys. Um, remember, do me a favor. You know, if you guys like the video, slap a like on that bad boy for me. And obviously, if you like the content I got uh, going on, please subscribe. And I always have content, majority of the time, usually every day coming out for you guys. So uh, that is it for this week. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you guys keep tuning in for more. All right, guys. Uh, this is Colin with Cowabunga Gaming. Deuces.